recently I made a video where I got banned from a gender critical community and it had been asked of me what the movement was in the comments and as I had also been thinking of the movement I thought that I should make a video explaining my views on it. Gender critical feminists make a distinction between sex and gender. They see gender as a harmful social construct based on personality and as something that should be abolished. Sex, on the other hand, is what they actually think determines whether someone is a man or a woman. While many different definitions are used by gender critical feminists, the most common definition is that a woman has XX chromosomes and a man has XY chromosomes. An important consequence of this is that the vast majority of trans men would now be considered women and trans women would now be considered men using these definitions. They also oppose many sex positive movements and other feminist movements and they think that certain sexual activities are oppressive against women and often defend trans people. They will say that their main aim is to abolish the patriarchy which they view as a current system in which men oppress and restrict the freedoms of women, notably using their definitions of men and women, of course. They believe that women's spaces should be protected, and if necessary, checks should be done to ensure that those who enter are what they consider women and not men. If they suspect a woman is a man, they will often go after them to question it, even this means that a man has to enter a woman's space. They, in fact, will claim that most, if not all, trans women or trans-identified men in their definitions claim to be women purely to oppress women and access their spaces. It is also said that these people in society put pressure on lesbians to have sex with these men. They also think that identity is very important, especially so those of groups they see as being oppressed. They get offended by people with XY chromosomes calling themselves women, and even more so when they call themselves lesbians, and see this as a removal of their true meanings. So, let's debunk this transphobic heap of shit. Firstly, let's go back to the, the definitions of sex and gender. As I said, many of them have di very different definitions of what sex is, but most agree that it is XX or XY. Perhaps the most obvious problem with this is that genetic disorders exist in which people are not XX or XY, and in fact many people who, with, or who are born with or without a Y chromosomes have sexual traits far more similar to most who have XX and XY chromosomes respectively. A common rebuttal to this is that these people are a minority, it doesn't matter that much. However, this is wholly irrelevant, even if only one person did not fit their overly simple definitions of sex, there would be a complete injustice done as a result because of the harsh nature of this difference made by gender critical feminists, and as around 1% of the people are actually intersex, this binary system would, of sex causes masses of problems as it does in current society. However, sex should still be a perfect binary with perfect definitions and all the rest of the problems with the movement would still exist. The idea that gender is personality is just complete bullshit. I would have to imagine it comes from the connected idea that gender is used to oppress cisgender women and shouldn't exist, and then links it to the, to the patriarchal connection between gender, except mistaking it for sex and personality. However, the truth is that you can define gender however you want, but the state of being a man or a woman or something else is clearly a concept other than physical sex from my own and other people's experiences. Sex does correlate strongly with gender, but so does personality with sex. And as these people rightly point out, sex and personality cannot be considered the same thing. Misdefining gender and then assuming that it must therefore be sex that determines if something that can be described by gender is just ridiculous. I should also point out that gender is not a choice. And given the current society's hostility, I don't see why someone would fake being trans. And that brings us nicely onto the identity element of this. Gender critical feminists will say that women mean more than just their genitalia, or more generally sexual characteristics. However, the definition of women refers precisely to this, using this bigoted and false definition of a woman. Saying that a woman is more than genitalia is just sexist because the term relates literally to nothing else. Whether or not someone meets their definitions as a woman in reality means absolutely nothing except their 
sexual characteristics. And seeing that these people do use genitalia to directly define these identities, it seems creepy as fuck to me, especially when it's done to children. As I've said before, the labels gay and straight are stupid themselves, and caring so much about whether or not someone meets the definition of lesbian is just homophobic. It is true that in society there is a patriarchy in which cisgender men tend to be dominant over cisgender women. However, much of the opponents of this hierarchy, those who are making it happen, tend to oppress transgender people, often through pretending they don't exist and banning them from gender segregated areas. The idea of women's spaces, however, is extremely patriarchal in itself. If it weren't for bigoted men, they would not need to exist at all. So at least very least it is just letting the patriarchy go free. But there is an, another problem with it. Not only do some cis men not want to harass cis women, but many cis women can and do harass other cis women. And as I said earlier, when they suspect that someone other than a cis woman has entered, they will often use violence against them. However, this usually ends up being a cis woman, wrecking the point of it being a safe space against trans women and other genders. Many gender critical people even want genitalia check to check the sex of people trying to use women only spaces, which is seriously fucked up to say the least. In addition to this, they often oppose certain certain consent seal activities in the belief that they are oppressive to cis women, especially when trans women are involved, as I said earlier. However, this is purely done in bigotry. They will often set in trans women and use cis women who sleep with them against all trans people in general, despite everyone involved giving consent and being happy with the relationship. Therefore, there is a lot of pressure for cis women not to have sex with trans women, even if they want to, from this and right-wing men's rights movements and practically none pressure them to have a sexual interest in trans women from society. Note how all this is very much misogynistic, sexist and transphobic. What is any of this doing to stop actual abuse and smash the patriarchy? It is literally supporting it. They want to reduce women to their physical genitalia by seeing it as such an important identity and trait of a person and then tell them how they can have sex and use them as a tool to attract sack trans people. Meanwhile, what the fuck have they done to the bigoted, fucked up cis-set males that are the fucking problem? Fuck all! In their actions, tears might as well be fucking MRAs. I have a lot more to say on the matter, so if you have any questions, I will answer them. I was going to make a more general video about transphobia, as I've seen, as I'm, many I've seen are very lacking and too generous of the transphobic position, but I ended up scrapping the idea.